Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm testing out the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette and I am so excited for this. I did get this on launch day and when you get it on Beauty Bay they did also give a pop socket as well. So you could either get one that was a light one or a dark one and this is the one that I got so I got the pink one. And I think my sister got the same one. She also picked this up on launch day and she looks so good when she's wearing it. She has tested it out. I haven't even opened it so I haven't swatched it or anything like that. And I did watch a video that Nikki did and I was so excited as soon as she started playing with it I was like yes this is a great palette and the pigmentation looked amazing so I did pick this up it is £25 I'm not sure if it is still available at the moment but she did mention that there is going to be a restock as well so even if it's not available at the moment you can sign up and get it in the restock so yeah I'm so excited for this palette and I don't think I've been as excited for a palette as this one in such a long time. So this is what it looks like on the front. So it's absolutely stunning. You have the light side, then you also have the dark side. There's so much in there. There's so much illustration and it just looks so good. Now the pink side is the side that I know that Nikki is because I've seen all of her tutorials and pretty much all the time they're nice and bright. And I am a fan of Nikki. I do like watching her videos. I think she's absolutely stunning. However, just because I am a fan of her doesn't mean that I'm gonna straight away say that this is a great palette. I am gonna test it out and see how it goes because obviously I wouldn't recommend something if I didn't actually like it and then when you open it up you do get two mirrors on the side one of them is a normal mirror the other one is a magnified mirror and she said that the reason for that is because she wanted everyone to just be able to use one palette and not have to take extra mirrors and with the zoomed in mirror you can definitely see every single detail that you have in there so I think this is really good perfect for travel because she does have the two mirrors and it is made out of cardboard so I feel like that's a really good thing for travel as well and when you open it up half of it is very bright colours and then the other half is slightly darker colours and that's something that she really wanted to do, she wanted to have a light side and then also a dark side. You do have some shimmers, you also have some mattes in there and these shimmers just look so good. I think I'm definitely drawn to Pride, also Blend and Snap, Aura and all of the names in this palette are named after things in her life. So for instance you have the one that is for her brother which is a bright red one, Mikai. You've also got Mama Tutorials, I love Mama Tutorials, she is so cute and that shade is so good. The shade of Mama Tutorials and Plot Twist, both of them mixed together is basically my nail colour. I do have sort of like mermaid nails going on at the moment but this looks so good. There's some really vibrant ones, there's some deeper ones and I know that she said that with the shimmer ones it's best to use your finger and then apply it on there so that's what I'm going to do because that's what she said is the best way to do it but this I'm so excited for. There's 20 shades. You can do neutral looks, you can do bold looks, you can do darker looks, you can do brighter looks. So there's quite a lot in this palette. So if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. And also make sure you hit the bell icon just so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And in the box, you also get a bit of cardboard that tells you every single shade in there. It tells you what type of thing they are. So if they're mattes, if they're shimmers. And then it also tells you whether to use your finger or whether to use a brush, which I think is really good. So if you look on there, you've got ones that have the finger on there. You've also got ones that have a brush on there so that's something that I really do like and I think that that's a really easy thing for people to be able to see the best way to apply. I'm so excited for this because I don't know what type of eye look I'm going to do because there's so many shades in here. I could create a bold one, I could create a neutral one. I really want to test out every single shade in here but I've only got two eyes and I don't think I'm going to be able to create two different looks with all of these shades so yeah, we're going to go ahead, dive in and see what we're going to create. So I'm all zoomed in so we can see how the eyeshadows work, see if they blend. And I really like zooming in when I do eye tutorials, just so we can see how they actually look. Because from far away, you won't be able to tell what it's like. But from up close, you'll be able to see it a lot better. So like I said, I'm going to try and use as many of the colours as I can. But like I mentioned, I only have two eyes, so it might be quite hard to use the majority of them. But we're going to try and use as many as we can. So it looks like that with all the mattes, the best way to apply it is with a brush. So that is what I'm going to do with all of the mattes and then it looks like that all of the shimmers are best applied with your finger and then also a brush so I'm probably going to use my finger for the majority of the shimmers and then use a brush for the mattes. So the first shade that I'm going to take is Zoma which I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it correctly but it's this one right here so it's more of a salmon pink matte then I'm going to use a mirror that's already in here because I feel like it's probably good to test those out as well so I'm just going to put this in the crease. This is a really nice salmon pink shade and perfect for a transition shade and there's no fallout in the pan as well which is great. Then I'm going to take the shade Aura which is right here. This is one of the shimmer shades and this one it says is an orange shimmer. Now this looks a little bit more of a peachy pink but 
we'll see how it applies that is a lot of pigment just look at how pigmented that is literally i just did a tiny tiny swatch so i'm gonna press this on the lid <laughs> that is so nice look at that literally the tiniest amount i put my finger in and it looks like this honestly you don't really need a lot of this eyeshadow because that was like a tiny amount and that is how it's done and this to me looks more of a pink shimmer i don't know if it's because of these studio lights but it looks a little bit more pink to me so the next shade i'm going into is blend and snap which is a bright pink shade so this looks like it's going to give me a little bit of oomph to my eye so i'm going to take the same brush that i used for the transition shade and i'm just going to dip into here that is so bright and then i'm just going to go on the outer third and then work it up to the crease. Um, that's a lot, and I didn't really put a lot on my brush, so I'm just gonna work this up into the crease, and just sort of blend it out. And that is what that looks like this is so good honestly the pigmentation is amazing you don't even need that much and it's just pop and i love this so there was a little bit of fallout with blend and snap but not too bad to be honest so the next shade that i'm going to go into is roxy katan i think is how you pronounce it so it's this one right here so this one again is another shimmer and this one says that it's a bright pink shimmer so i'm going to use my finger for this as well because it is shimmer so it does say that shimmers can be used with a finger and i actually prefer using my finger for shimmers just because i feel like that you get a better look and it's better pigmentation another swatch on there look at how much you get i use this finger that is a lot and i hardly even put my finger in it so i'm just going to take a bit and i'm going to put it right in the middle so i've just zoomed in a little bit more just so you can see what the eyeshadow looks like and this is what it's looking like so far it looks so good so highly pigmented it blends so well so the next thing i'm going to do is go on the lower lash line so i'm going to take two shades so i'm going to take blend and snap again and then i'm going to take mickey as well and these two look like they're going to go really well together so i'm going to mix them together so i'm just going to put blend and snap down first and then I'm going to take a little bit of mic eye so even tapping it in a little bit you get a lot on the brush and I'm just going to put this on the outer part and then work it a little bit into the outer third And then I'm going to take my blending brush and we're just going to blend this a little bit. And then I'm going to take the shade Ivy, which is right here, and I'm going to put this on the inner corner. So I feel like this one is more of a shimmer shade, so it's not showing up as much as the others. And then I'm just going to use one to highlight underneath my brow bone, so I think I'm going to go back in with Ivy. So I feel like I'm finished with this eye. I've used quite a lot of shades and it blends out so nicely. Pigmentation is so good as well. The matte shades, the shimmer shades, everything is so good and I'm so happy with it. So this is what it looks like. So with this eye, I feel like we did pretty good. We're testing out as many colors as we could. We did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we test out seven of the shades and there are 20 in the palette. So we've only got another 13 left to try. So with the next eye, I feel like I'm gonna use quite a few of the darker shades and I'm gonna try and use as many that I haven't used at the moment. The first shade that I'm gonna go into is this one right here called Redemption and this one is an orange matte. So I'm gonna use this for the crease. And then I'm going to work it a little bit higher as well. And then I'm going to take 
Mikai again because I don't feel like I used it a lot so I'm going to take it again and I'm just going to put this in the crease. This red is really pigmented and sometimes reds are so hard to get right. I'm excited to see what the blue and green look like because I know that with green it is quite hard and also purple as well. I know that that's hard to get a really good matte. So that is done and I'm just going to blend it together a little bit. Then I think this time I'm going to do a cut crease so I'm just going to take my concealer and I'm going to put it on my lid. And now I feel like it's a good time for me to use Mama Tutorials. I am so excited for this because this looks so good. It looks like a mermaid shade, one for the sea, and it looks so good. So I'm going to take Mama Tutorials, which is this one right here. And on the card, it says that Mama Tutorials is a baby blue shimmer. I'm going to use my finger again for this because I feel like it works out best for shimmers. I've literally done a tiny swatch. These, honestly, are so pigmented. I didn't think they would be this good, but they really are I'm so happy with them so I'm just gonna put this all over the lid that is so good and then I'm gonna take one of the brown shades so I'm either gonna take Mila or 5am I think I'm gonna take Mila first so I'm gonna take this shade first and I'm just gonna pop this in the crease And then I'm going to take 5am, which is this one, and I'm just going to put it in the outer third and then work into the crease. And then I'm just going to take a bit of my Mama Tutorials and just pat it on. Then I'm just going to blend this out a little bit. You know what? I'm going to take some Amsterdam. Amsterdam looks like a beautiful shade, so I'm going to take a bit of that and that is the bright blue so it's more like a cobalt blue and then i'm just gonna pat this on so i'm getting a little bit of fallout with mama tutorials that has started to come down here and then just take a little bit more mama tutorials just because it looks like it's coming off a little bit with all the blending then i'm gonna do the lower lash line and i'm gonna use Amsterdam and Eel. I love that word, Eel. So I'm going to take Eel first, which is this shade right here. And Eel says it's a true green matte. So we'll see how this one goes. So this one doesn't have as much pigmentation as the rest of them but it is still a beautiful shade and I know that green matte shades are the hardest ones to do as well as purples. I feel like my eyes look a little bit like the sea at the moment on this one so looks really good. And then I'm going to take Amsterdam and Amsterdam says it's cobalt blue matte which is exactly what it looks like. And then I think I'm going to take another one of the shimmers. So Underground All In or Mr. Tutorials. And Mr. Tutorials, she said, is the colour of his eyes. And it's a hazel shimmer, which I think is really cute. So we've got a green duochrome, a silver gold shimmer. Oh, should we do the duochrome? This is what All In looks like. So really, really pigmented again. And I'm just going to put it on the lid. That is absolutely stunning. That is to be really good for New Year. And then I'm going to take a shimmer shade to do the inner corner. So I think I'm going to take Underground, which is a silver gold shimmer. And Underground is this one right here. And then I think I'm going to take some ivy as well. 
that is so nice so I think I'm going to take a bit more of all in and I'm going to pop it on a little bit more of the eye then I'm just going to take a bit of ivy and just pop it underneath the brow bone so this is what both the eyes look like and there's one two three four five shades that we didn't use so I used 15 shades out of the palette on two of my eyes and I feel like I did really good. So I'm liking these because they are so different from each other and they're blended out so nicely and I feel like they look really good. So I'm going to go ahead, do the rest of my makeup, then I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like and give you my final review and also do some swatches as well so you can see exactly what they look like. So I've just finished off my makeup and this is what it looks like and I love this eyeshadow palette i've also done some swatches just before i started to film this part and the swatches are absolutely incredible so i'm going to bring up the swatches here as i'm going to be talking about each individual row so as you saw while i was trying out these on my eyes i tested out 15 of the 20 shades so i feel like i did pretty good i have two completely different eyes one of them is very pink and red the other one is quite dark and blue and greens and i really like the way that both of them turned out now there are some of the shades in here that are better than others especially when doing the swatches and adding them to the eye so there are some that I absolutely love there are a couple that aren't really the best but to be honest I'm not really too bothered because with the ones that aren't really the best I don't think I'm going to be using them anyway so first off with the mirrors I love the fact that there's two different mirrors I love the fact that there's a normal mirror and then there is a magnified mirror I did use the magnified mirror the whole time I was filming this video so this is the magnified one so I was using this the whole time that I was filming it it was so easy to use and it wasn't really heavy even though you've got all of these massive pads in here it wasn't heavy holding it up so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the swatches of each individual row and then let you know which ones I liked and which ones I didn't as you can see I still have blue on my arm so this is a swatch from the cobble blue this will not come off I did have an issue with the red as well but the red managed to come off in the end but I don't know how long Amsterdam is going to be staying on my arm for. So in the first row you have Redemption, Blend and Snap, Ivy, Slasher and 5am. The only one that I didn't use out of this was Slasher which was the purple one but in the swatches all of them perform pretty good so Ivy is the only one that's a little bit of a letdown. That one's a shimmer shade, it is a beautiful shade but it is more of a light shimmer so it's basically like a topper eyeshadow so I wouldn't recommend putting it all over the lid because you probably won't get a lot of pigmentation but if you was to use it as a topper then it looks really nice so with the swatches redemption looks like it's not the best but the rest of them are pretty good to be honest when i put redemption in the eye it was really nice it did need a little bit more blending a little bit more building up but it is a bright orange eyeshadow and in the end it was really good i liked every single shade that i use on here so this row i was really happy with and i do like the fact that with the mattes there's so much pigmentation in there because with mattes usually you don't really get a lot it's usually hard to blend out as well and with the second row you have roxy Catan. Vla, Mikai, Mila and Underground. So with these the only shade that I didn't use was Vla and that's just because I wasn't really too sure what I'd do with the bright yellow. It is a neon yellow so in the swatches every single shade performed beautifully. The only exception was Vla but it is a neon shade but it still looked pretty good. I think my favourite shade is Roxy Catan from my right eye. I feel like that it looks absolutely stunning. I love the shade Underground as well on my left eye. Oh that Honestly, love that one as well as All In from the next line. And with Mikai, honestly, this was amazing. There's so much pigment in there. It's such a bright red shade. Love it. It looks so good when I put it on my eye. I actually used it on both of my eyes and it blended out amazingly. So much pigmentation. Looked incredible. So I'm really, really happy with that one. And in the next line, there's Plot Twist Aura Basic Trut, which I believe is Dutch for basic and then you've got all in and then you've got eel so in the swatches every single one of them looks so good plot twist was the only one which didn't have a lot of pigmentation it is a very pale blue shade so i don't think i'm going to be using it a lot anyway but every shade was so good aura all in oh my god i absolutely love them and then eel stunning bright fluorescent green really beautiful on the eye blended out amazingly on the eye it didn't look as pigmented as in the swatch but it still looked really good so i do have it on the lower lash line and i really like it anyway it's really pretty and then the last line is probably my favorite this one is pride zoma mama tutorials amsterdam and mr tutorials the swatches so beautiful on there absolutely stunning and then mama tutorials one of my favorites love it amsterdam so pigmented zoma 
beautiful again and then pride honestly this line i think is probably my favorite one every single swatch was beautiful every single one that i used on the eye looked absolutely beautiful mama tutorials love it that one is the main color on here so overall after testing out the majority of my eyes and swatching every single shade I am so impressed with this palette. It is so beautiful. I would say as soon as it gets restocked, go out and purchase it. It is so much better than any other eyeshadow that I've tried. And I'm not just saying that because I like Nikki. Honestly, every shade just swatched so nicely. There is obviously the odd one that didn't swatch the best, but those are ones that I'm not gonna use anyway. This is so beautiful. It's incredible quality. The pigmentation is so good. And this actually makes me wanna try out some more from Beauty Bay because they are just so good when applying on the eyelid. As you can see, I created two different looks and I still didn't even use all of the shades in this palette. I do wanna create more looks. You can create some neutral ones. You can create some bold ones. I like this pink one. I think this pink one is so good. Also, adding all of the different shades on this eye, I feel like I did pretty good, but I love this. You can create so many different looks. I like the fact that you have the bright shades and also the deeper shades. I just think it's a really good concept. Again, the fact that it's cardboard is really good. And like I said, pigmentation is amazing. Blends out like a dream. I don't know when this Amsterdam shade is gonna be coming off my arm because it's that pigmented, but we're gonna try and scrub it off a little bit more during the day. And this is how it's turned out and I feel like it has done really well. For 25 pounds, this is such a great palette. I've seen that my sister's used it and she loves it. I've seen that she did a pink eye look and then also a blue one. Both of them looks amazing. And she likes to experiment with a lot of color. I'm not really one of those people that likes to experiment with a lot of color, but I still do experiment every now and again and I feel like that they are so good. When it comes back in stock, definitely get your hands on it because it is so good. And like I said, I'm not just saying it because I really like Nikki and I'm a fan. I love this palette and I highly, highly recommend it. So definitely go out and purchase it. So this is my review of the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay palette. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you've tried out this palette and if you like it or if you don't, just comment down below to let me know. And make sure that you give this video a very big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.